<laughs> to make the cake taste better? No, it wasn't getting it on the cake. I was not that sloppy with it. <laughs> Okay, have a statement and open up to questions. Paul Sather. Yeah, I, I, really good total team effort. You know, that first half, I, I thought we were doing a lot of good things defensively. And you look up and they're shooting 62% from the field or whatever it was. And honestly, like, I felt really good about our energy. I felt good about how we were guarding the ball and guarding their actions and guarding. But they got really good players. They got guys that can make shots. They got guys that can attack you. They're big, obviously. It's really good. And, you know, it's, it's hard to be a guy to just post double him because they got so many shooters and guys that can make plays around them. So I just thought, as, you know, at halftime we told our guys, effort's great defensively. Don't change. Keep, keep it up. Uh, the biggest thing is c continue to rebound. I felt like at halftime our advantage was, even though we didn't score in a lot of them, we had some second-chance points. We gave ourselves some extra shots. And even though we weren't shooting the same percentage they were, we had more shot attempts than they did. And... And so just keep rebounding, keep defending, keep sharing it, um, keep having fun playing with pace, keep having fun attacking and getting the ball into the heart and doing those things. And, man, I thought for 40 minutes our guys did a pretty good job of that. I think floor game today, I look at stats, and I see 11 steals and three turnovers. You can't ask for a better floor uh, game. Yeah, and 18 assists, you know. Um, and, and, like, a lot of people impact that. You know, Tyree obviously kind of is our PG I thought his activity defensively was good, but man, Eli King and Brady and a bunch of different guys really did a good job of having high activity defensively. Um, you know, BJ's length can cause so many problems. Um, and, and, and Trayson just does always a good job of just kind of being in the right place a lot of times defensively with his deflections and steals. So good, good team effort for us. Any shakedown yet on where the seeds are? They, no, they won't know until tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yeah. Tomorrow, Kansas City plays at Oral Roberts. It's a CBS Sports Network game, so, yep. But you got to be pleased going into Sioux Falls on, a, on the heels of a game like this. Yeah. I mean, I just I feel like it's a, it's a conference tournament that a lot of people should feel like there's an opportunity in this tournament. And I think we're one of those teams that should feel like there's an opportunity here. Um, it's going to be really hard. We got to go down there and continue to play well and play our best and, and, and handle the ups and downs and the aches and the pains and, and mentally, you know, continue to grow and get tougher and physically um, fight through the, the aches and the pains and the soreness because, like, the, the team that can withstand that the best, that, that kind of continues to play with the, the right team attitude and, the right mindset and uh, the idea that defending, rebounding, and taking care of the ball are really, really important. And, and I, I think those are the teams that you know have the best chance to go down there and win. Yeah, ten wins in the conference. You know, the program is, you know, keeps going up, and you got to be pleased with that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, I, I'm just really pleased with the people that we have in our program. I'm really pleased with, you know, how they put their teammates and our team in front of maybe just their own wants and needs. I, I think we got a pretty good culture within our team, but it's something you got to work for all the time. You know, th th there's just so much into having success and getting wins. You know, it's how you do it. It's, it's the kind of people you're doing it with. And, you know, as, 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 as good as you can be one day, if you start thinking you have it figured out, the next day you will get humbled pretty quickly. And I, and I just feel like if we have the right mindset uh, with the kind of character we have in this team, if they continue to have the right mindset and, you know, be grateful and stay humble and, and want to continue to work and fight through to things together as a team, then we can achieve a lot. And that sounds like coach talk, but that's life. It's just, it's just life, and that's what it is. Um, and, uh, you know, we, we, we've been grinding a little bit on the road and – home against South Dakota State. Um, and, and I think our guys really fought through that well um, and really came out and, you know, showed what we're capable of tonight. But, like, it's not surprising. Um, we, we've, we've been believing in this for a long time. So, But, you know, tomorrow's a day off, and we got to have a good day on Monday. And, and ultimately that's the next step. Uh, it looks like six different players score at least one three and then four players in double digits. What's that say about your offense? 
Well, I thought we moved the ball. I, I love the fact that we had 18 assists, and you know it means that we're making shots for one, but it means that we were sharing it and not just trying to ISO. You know, we've got some guys that can really make some plays in ISO situations, and I think you see that throughout the game. But it's fun to see the ball move, move, and move, and then find guys in a rhythm uh, and, and shot ready or on a back cut uh, or, or things like that. And I just felt we did a lot of good things like that. And we passed up good shots for better ones. And I think that when you have that, I think that's the right frame of mind.